Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. All right, so in front of us we have the Kato KA249W Solar Dynamo LED Lantern. It has a built-in AM FM NOAA band radio. I love it. <laughs> I've been looking at lanterns and radios, and they kind of go together. So, yeah, kind of a cool setup. Purchase this radio from uh, Amazon for a total of $24.99. They have yellow, green, and black. Picture of the yellow. You think I would go with yellow, but I actually went with green on this one. kind of wanted that camping flavor, you know. Plus, this yellow one is a little too much yellow. If these knobs are black, it'd probably look really good, along with the switches. Then I might have leaned towards the yellow. But, yeah, it looks like it's just too much too much yellow there. But anyway, here's the box. Take a look at it. Kaito KA249W. There's what I read off. It's an 8 LED lantern. It's really bright. You get to see that. Solar power on top. Dynamo crank on the back. There's the radio. It has a 5 volt input, 5 volt output. We'll show you that stuff. There's some little icons of the same stuff I think I just said. Recyclable. Yay. On the side, four ways to charge. Okay, four ways to charge the power. Okay, so you can use your own batteries, which is a plus. Um, this is really nice. It has a built-in lithium battery, 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp hour, and uh, when fully charged, the lantern lasts five to eight hours, and the radio can play six to eight hours. So, lantern reason why there's a big window is there's a low and a high mode. So, I'm guessing high is five hours and low mode is eight hours. Radio, I'm guessing how high you have the volume. Stickers thing where it got a green color. Cool. Another picture of the radio in black. Same information pretty much there. And kind of like little features of the different elements of the radio and lantern. All right, let's open it up and see what we get. All right. Pop this out of here. There we go. Box is empty. So we get a, a little lonely cable there. Let me go ahead and just, I think this is a micro. Very simple. Let me just, uh, Lower this back down because I had to hide for that box. Yeah, so this is one of your standard cables. Your um, you have micro USB. Get that in focus. There we go. Yeah, for charging the radio or yeah, lantern radio. I keep wanting to call it radio. <laughs> lantern. It's a lantern first and foremost. Okay. Uh, we get some instructions. So there we are. You can pause and read. I think it's pretty basic stuff. There are some specs there. Um, solar panel, best working under sunlight. So it's nice that it has a solar charging panel. Cranking power, 2.5 watts. I guess that's pretty good. Um, LED, 8 LEDs, 2 light levels. There's your frequency. FM, AM, and the NOAA bands. You got all 7. Nice. Um, DC in, 5 volts. DC out, 5 volts. Some information on size. And we'll go over that. Operation. Yeah, it's pretty much just tells you don't charge it over three hours. I'm assuming it has a little lithium battery, and hopefully it has an overload protection circuit built into it. But just in case, they're telling you to only charge it for three hours. I had this out earlier. I had it charging more than three hours. It was okay, but I didn't see that till after. <laughs> I think we're okay, though. Um, there you go. So to charge the phone, you can charge it with the Dynamo. Pretty cool. So... There you are. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show the radio. So it comes in this bubble wrap. I keep calling it radio. Lantern. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this thing's cool. Let me get this bubble wrap out of the way. So we have the Kaito right on top there. You can see the model number. KA249W. And at the top we got the solar panel. It's pretty big. You know, I didn't measure that solar panel. Um, I guess I could give you an idea um, real quick just since we have this out here. So it's got about a two inch solar panel, square. Uh, we'll go over dimensions, lay this down. Okay, we're gonna, looks like I'm gonna have to bring it back up. Bring it back up so we get the whole thing in frame. Okay, so here is the radio. So it's a little smaller than the, um, what was that one I did? The North Point uh, radio lantern where it had took 3D cell batteries in the bottom. Uh, that one didn't have any kind of recharging. It didn't have a dynamo. It didn't have any solar power. So it wasn't, it was like an emergency radio, but it had, you had to have three D-cell batteries. This one here has a built-in battery, which is really nice. And you can see it's charging with the light to cover that solar panel. So it's really reactive to the solar. So cool. Let's go over dimensions of this radio lantern. Okay, can I make sure it doesn't fly around here on me? Okay, so we have a width of three and one quarter inches. 
we have a height of seven and three quarter inches, and we have a depth of three and a half inches um, front to back because I included the knobs. So let's look at the features of this radio. So you saw the top already with that solar panel and this little, uh, it's, you know, actually for this radio is pretty light and this is not a bad handle for it. Um, the North Point's handle was almost useless because that radio was heavy with 3D batteries, but this one, not so bad. So you could hook this up on a tree, no problem. So it has that camping flare. I really love it. Here we have an antenna on the side. It's, um, it rotates 360, which is very interesting and it extends out. It's not super long, about a foot. So there you get an idea. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is there's no notch to hold it in place. So if you're going to travel with this, you're almost going to want like a small bungee, um, something to, or like a Velcro wrap, just a wrap around there to keep the antenna from flopping open in the pack or wherever you're carrying it in and having this break off. Um, that's the only thing I, you know, to keep it against the radio uh, base of the lantern here, I should call it, sort of base of the lantern. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it. Front of the radio, um, we have a button for the light. It's two mode. And I'll show you that in a second. Here we have the volume on off. Cool. Here we have the tuning uh, wheel and it's kind of got to figure out where you're at here. So if we're on the FM with FM 88 to 108 and then it runs this way as we should turn it for the AM 520 to 1710. So it kind of runs backwards as you go on the AM band and then it runs back normal on the NOAA band 1 through 7 there. You can see that. Look at that. There you go. Tuning light when you're in tune. Nice. We have a three band select FM, AM, and NOAA weather band. And then here we have um, two power modes. We have the internal uh, lithium ion battery and we have the ex uh, external dry battery compartment. I'll show you that so you can toggle between the two. And of course, we have a charging indicator. So this lights up when you have solar power working or when you hook up the USB charger. And I'll show you that. So on the right hand side, we have the DC out 5 volts. So you can hook up your phone and use the dynamo to charge it. Here we have the DC in 5 volts, the USB micro cable I showed you to charge the internal battery. Here we have the NOAA frequency chart, made in China, Kato.us, Kato Electronics, I'm trying to say their name right, Kato. And on the back side here, you're going to hear this handle go back and forth, excuse me, because um, I keep tilting it. This dynamo is really nice, um, it has a little holder, and it's really easy to use. And it's easy to hang on to this because it's not a very big radio and it's just it's comfortable to use so when you're cranking and you have to charge that cell phone you'll have no trouble just you'll be working up a sweat probably before you get your phone charged I, I just don't like using dynamos but this one's not too bad um, it feels premium here we have a speaker about an inch and a half it's pretty minuscule but at least you know you get information with it that's the importance of this feature you know, I, I consider this more of like a emergency lantern um, first and then radio, so it's kind of cool. And then this handle is really driving me nuts. I almost should take it off. <laughs> Maybe I should try it. Yeah, I'll leave it up. I'll probably break if I try. On the bottom here is pretty cool. So this is where you put your external dry batteries, I said. It takes three AA batteries as an optional power source. That's really nice. So if your internal battery died, you're not stuck without a radio, you have a alternate source of power and AA batteries are prolific. So yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and do, do a light test with this. Let me just turn off this. We'll just do a, have one light on. So we have a high beam and I'm going to just turn off this other light. And yeah, it lights up pretty good. This is lighting up my room. Um, no problem at all. Love it. And yeah, if you can look at it directly, it's pretty bright. I almost wish this was diffused because looking down here, it's pretty blinding. So you have to kind of have it where it's low to the floor. So you're not blinding yourself looking at it. It's the only thing I don't like. I wish it was diffused. But I think you could probably spray it with something, this external part, to diffuse this. I'm thinking I'm thinking there's some kind of like satin spray, clear coat that you could probably use. Um, I forget what they use. They use it on windows to, for privacy. I think there's even a film you could buy that you could wrap this with and do privacy film or something, just so you don't, you know, if, if that bugs you. Um, I don't know about uh, using sandpaper. It probably wouldn't look good, you know, trying to scuff it up with that way, but... Gives you an idea. You could probably use those two items. Um, so you have the low mode, which is more twilight. Oops, there's low. So you can still read by it, and, and it's probably going to get you um, your 10 hours of light. So pretty nice. Or no, 8 hours of light, excuse me.
it's five or eight. So there we go. So it gives you an idea of the light source. Let's go ahead and turn this back on and this light back on. All right. So you got to see the light in action. I recommend only using the light by itself, not with the radio. Yes, you can use them together. It'll work really good when the light's on high and the radio's on. But if you put the light on low on AM, it squeals. And I'll show you that. So let's go ahead and just test the NOAA band real quick. I'll extend my little antenna. There you go. I think you could probably keep it about that close. Gives you an idea. So I'm just going to kind of hold this. And we're going to tune this radio. Turn it on. Speaker in the back. And the handle. <laughs> Channel 4. I did get channel 1 earlier today. Okay. The temperature was 62 degrees. The dew point was 44. And the relative humidity was 51%. The wind was northeast at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.96 inches and in rising. Here is the forecast for the Chicago metropolitan area. Rest of tonight, mostly... Okay, so pretty basic, no. Uh, I don't think I get any other. Let me just go up the bands. Lows in the upper 40s. Get a little sub on channel 7. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go to the FM. So I got the antenna here. We'll see if we can pick up anything. Programs throughout the diocese. Her experience and successful track record um, in this field now makes her a really sought after speaker as well. She addresses audiences on the subjects of building effective youth ministry programs in parishes and building home lives that radiate. I don't know if I mentioned the price of this radio, $24.99. It's not bad for an emergency lantern radio. <laughs> if you remember saying lantern first, um, I love it. I think it's cool. And I can see it being very handy in this emergency situation. Very handy. You can tell it's kind of a DSP unit. It's going to be on an inexpensive radio. But it's picking up stations. Reception issue. That's all right. There we go. <laughs> okay, gives you an idea of the FM band. It did okay. Didn't pick up a million stations, but I'm not in a great location, so it did really well actually for this location. So we're gonna go ahead and do the AM band. Just key it back up. We'll switch it to AM. Put this antenna down. Yeah, if they had a little clip here, that'd be really nice. Maybe something you'll think of in the future. And then I think would be cool is to make these knobs black. I think that'd really stand out nice. All right, um, let's go ahead and tune the AM band. I'm not gonna go crazy, let's see what we pick up. Oh, let me show you the, the wine. So you got the light on with the radio. 
and you turn it to low, I guess you got a siren. <laughs> Show you that again. So, yeah, if you want, uh, I think it doesn't do that in FM. Just AM. It, it uh, interferes. Okay. But hey, there you go. You got a little siren built in. I didn't even feature that. There you go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can pick up some stations. Auto parts and save $8 instantly on a pair of trico it's the evening. We're about uh, 10, 17 p.m. Central, St Central Standard Time near Chicago. I'm not going to do any heavy band scans on this. Probably going a little too fast here. Lakefront, 56 in Waukegan. So I can pick up anything else. Okay, so this AM is pretty much good for only your locals. Looking forward to the next miles. Zemo's right after a key. Sciacorp.com, that's S A. So what do I get, like three or four stations? Yeah. So, okay, well, that was pretty uh, quick bands again. Um, so let's go ahead and... There we go. Zoom this back up. All right, so let's do final thoughts on the Kaito KA249W. Um, this radio, like I said, was $24.99, shipped from Amazon. I didn't know if I said that at the beginning. I kind of mentioned it through in the middle of the video. Um, it's actually pretty cool lantern um, for the money. I think it's neat that you got a nice light source um, and a power outage. You have the alternate batteries, which is probably something you're going to want to do. Um, if you don't have the lithium battery charged. I do like it that it's good for extended power outages because you can put this in the window and let it charge or outside. Let it charge during the day. That's kind of nice. Um, it's a bonus. Uh, you don't have to crank the dynamo. Having the radio feature is good. I mean, if you need to listen to the weather, it can pick up the weather band. If you need a few strong stations like your FM and your AM uh, locals, you're going to be fine. Don't expect a DX like I showed you. I couldn't pick up any other stations except for those local stations. Um, that's just probably, probably really tiny AM antenna in there. It's probably not, you know, calibrated perfectly, but it is only a $25 emergency radio. There are some better emergency type radios out there, but like I said, this is more of a lantern, more of lighting up the room, uh, more than it is a radio. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, do another like test here. So yeah, when you're looking at this radio, you're, you're looking at all about how much light it can produce. You know, it lights, lights the room really nice. This is really good. You can read what you need to read. Um, you could turn on the weather band, hear what's going on with the weather. You can turn your local AM on. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is actually not a bad value for $25 because of the amount of light it produces. And it's um, compact. You know, it's pretty compact. And it kind of looks cool as a lantern. Um, I, do, I do like the lantern feature of it. Um, I've seen a lot of different ones out there. This one just caught my eye because rechargeable dynamo crank. I like the idea that it can charge my cell phone in a pinch. That is nice. So I'll be featuring more of these lantern radios. Um, I really get a kick out of them. So it, does this get a buy for me? Uh, if you're looking for an emergency radio, look at the Kaito Voyager V2, and I'll have a card up there for that. Um, that's a great radio for twenty bucks. For five dollars more, if you need a if you want more of a radio capable lantern, that uh, KA, um, if I'm saying it right, 340, I'll link it up here. That has like Bluetooth and it has MP3 capability. It has shortwave, uh, both shortwave bands on there. Uh, it covers so much. It has a large light on one side and a flashlight on the other. Plus, it has a larger internal 
18650 battery. Um, that's another option for five dollars more. So this kind of fits in between. Um, so this this has just got an element um, of small, compact, kind of camping like um, lantern. So it looks more utilitarian, which is nice. And so that kind of fits into that mold too. So it is all kind of preference of what you think you need and what you'd like in a, in a lantern. Um, having a rudimentary radio, like this is fine. Um, does a good job as far as FM, NOAA, a little bit of AM. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I give it my big thumbs up. Um, but like I said, there's other options out there that are really good. And I got another feature radio um, I'm going to do for $25 equal to this one to give you another idea of price and what you get, you know, for your money. And, uh, yeah, so look into this one. Like I said, there's three different colors. They make a black, a yellow, and the green. And I think for $25, bucks, you are getting your money's worth because you are getting a lantern, number one, with a battery already included, with a charging cable um, that can charge in any USB, you know, device. And uh, then you get the bonus of having a weather band radio built into it. That is that is really nice. So, and optional battery backup, which is key on any emergency type style radio or lantern radio. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, big thumbs up. Um, if you're new, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, get notified of future videos of emergency type radios like this, lantern radios, lanterns. We're going to like feature different things like that. Going to kind of expand the channel some just because it's going to make it interesting and unique. And we're going to, um, yeah, like I said, add new things. And then we're going to have like band scans. We're going to do more versus radios and different things like that. You're going to love to watch this channel. So check out the older videos. You'll see what I'm talking about. And I'll put up a, a Kaito radio link here. You can look at all or Kato. I already say their name wrong. Kato radios. And you can check out their all their radios that I've reviewed. Pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, if you like this radio, comment below what you think about the KA249W. Um, would this be something you're interested in? Does it look something like you'd want to have on a camping trip? Uh, do you think this will be useful for you in an emergency situation? Um, do you think it's worth 25 bucks? Um, yeah, give me an idea. Because, you know, to me, that, that handle's driving me nuts. <laughs> to me, it's not bad for the money. I mean, you do get a lot of features. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care, and goodbye.